Yeah, that sleep schedule thing. Kind of screwing me, guys. I cannot lie with you. It's 726. So pretty much just heading to class. Our early workout is unfortunately gonna have to be postponed to this afternoon. Not ideal by any means, but uh, I don't know. Definitely wanna keep that momentum going in the morning. I know obviously it didn't happen, but uh, I don't know. I just felt like that was, yesterday was an ideal morning routine, pretty much. Um, I will say I did deadlifts yesterday uh, for like my back just to like warm up and everything. And uh, it's hit my hamstring so good. It pretty much feels like I hit a hamstring day. Um, but yeah, so we're headed to school. Um, I definitely need to get, oh look, hey. I definitely need to get the sleep schedule fixed. So if it comes down to it today, we'll postpone the gym work on a writing assignment, a writing paper, and then, um, yeah, drawing on the right side of the brain, possibly, but the real goal for today is get some stuff done on the research paper. It's kind of like, screw everything else at this point, we just need to get that done, and, uh, yeah, so, that is the goal, that is the goal, but, uh, Oh, great. That just doesn't sound cool. But, uh, yeah. Head to school. Keep you guys updated. Catch you there. Sit. Happy birthday, Roger. Just kidding. It's not until December. But you look beautiful. Oh. He's ready. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, long time no see. It's three o'clock. Sun is blistering on my face. My eyes are burning from the six or seven hours of sleep. But it changes right now. Orion's calling me, so uh, yeah, hold on. Sorry about that. A little business call. I had to take that one. Headed into the gym. Gotta scoop that pre-workout so we can wake up, have a great workout. Um, originally, I was going to do legs today, but since that morning fell through, rightfully so, with the amount of sleep we had in our body, um, we're hitting it now, and we're hitting shoulders with Arian, so. Works out, you know, one for a little world, but yeah, we've, uh, I think we have about 70 grams of protein left, so I might stop at Chipotle after, not too sure but i think that would probably be the best bet oh uh, but yeah so i will uh catch you guys after this uh classes were pretty good work wasn't bad pretty standard stuff um got all my other assignments done that i needed um that are like due today and whatnot and i'm gonna be starting the paper and grinding it as soon as i get home so that is the plan but uh i'll keep you guys updated for sure should be a great little pump. Let's get to it. Welcome to the gun channel. <laughs> nah, that shoulder's actually crazy though. Like, <laughs> on film too? Literally. Like, that's fucking scary, bro. Oh, it's a no. fucking chicken thigh. Yours is too, what the fuck? Use your lat to like push out the tricep. That's what I do. Oh, fuck. Tomorrow for you at or arms? Yeah. Oh. Um. 
Sorry guys, that's all you get. <laughs> 457 now. What a beautiful workout on a beautiful sunny day. Honestly, it's kind of sad because I know next week it's going to be cold. It's going to be nasty. But fall is here. Winter is here. Nothing we can really do about that. Nothing we can really do about that now. But uh, the plan as of right now, Chipotle, so we can uh, help this protein goal diminish for the day. And then we will be heading back to the house and writing our paper. Boom. I said it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're locking in and we're doing it. So should be great time um this is needed to happen for a while so we're gonna get around to that and then we'll probably do some drawing as well um but yeah just gonna have a good night gonna actually spend some time at my home and uh make progress you know what i mean make some progress uh also i think tomorrow if we work out with arm we'll be hitting arms and then saturday legs um, I do work this Saturday, so that'll be interesting to see how all that plays out. But, um, yeah, should be a good little day. Also, I'm kind of debating on getting my car washed, uh, cause it's getting kind of nasty. Um, mainly it's on the outside, but inside could use a little refresher too. But, uh, anyway, keep you guys updated. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this, you're awesome. And, uh, yeah. Having a pretty good little day. So this news might scare a lot of you. It's 9.13. You boy. We just sleep that entire time. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Greatest sleep of my life. No re regrets. Now. It's grind season. I have energy in me. I feel good. I have my Chipotle bowl. About to go fill up my water, and then we're gonna really grind this one out. I don't have class until 11:15 tomorrow, so I think instead of 4:30 a.m., we get to probably get up around 6:30, which would be nice. So keep you guys updated for sure. But uh, about to grind this paper. Um, first step is to watch this video, and while I'm watching it, I'm gonna be just like typing things down, information. Cause this is going to be like my nice base layer of information on Sufism and Islam is my topic. Uh, it's for world religions again, but yeah. So just going to get the gist down. I have like, let me pull it up real quick. But pretty much I had uh, laid out like what I want to talk about. Like for each page on here already so i already have like my header carter slusher professor shadow theology 219 29th of october 2024 which is the due date um yes ready for this title sufism in islam spirituality influence and contemporary relevance beautifully elegant um first page will be about context and importance of Sufism in Islam. A brief overview of Sufism as a mystical dimension of Islam. Thesis statement uh, outlining the core themes that I'll explore. And I have a resource, Sufism, a beginner's guide by William C. Chitlick. Uh, in the heart of Sufism, essential writings of Harzat Inat Khan. So, we'll get it started. And, um... Here we go. All right, it is 10.30. Feels if it is probably going to be a late night, guys, a late vlog upload. Let me set this down just for a wee second. Just for a wee one. Wow, I actually have a pretty good little chunk. Um, so I'm watching this video, and pretty much it's just talking about what is Sufism. And it's actually really helping me understand what I'm talking about. 
So I have it like playing on the side here and then I'm like taking notes and writing as I'm going. And um, I'm at five minutes and 38 seconds in the video and let me show you. Obviously a bit of a mess right now, but I kind of have like my intro and then this is just like a big chunk of text right now. And that, and then that was like my plan of what it is, but I'm going to find like some quotes that like further back up a lot of the stuff that I'm saying, but it's really helpful. Like this video is really, really helping me out. Um, so yeah, but, uh, simply put for the intro, Sufism is a very broad and complex topic. So to better help understand what this tradition is, how it developed over time and what it, its main characteristics consist of. We need to approach each part individually to grasp what Sufism is. It's not my thesis statement per chance, but like, that's kind of what I'm rolling with for now. Um, obviously, I just want to get like all the information down and then like organize, categorize, have the flow of it go better, um, fix grammar, thesis, quotes, things like that. And then I think I should be good. But right now I'm just getting the meat and potatoes of it love that saying but uh yeah let's just read the second i kind of forget what it was sufism is often described very simply as islamic mysticism there are there however are some issues with the simplified definition especially since both terms can't be directly equated with another and that they are often simply or narrow each other down too much however it can still be a useful starting point to help better understand what sufism consists of as a whole so it's actually really interesting um at least like what i'm understanding so far is that sufism isn't like a branch of islam it's like an aspect of it like there's certain like tendencies or like practices that define you as a sufi is what they call it um and pretty much the difference is that like they take the Quran, which is like their holy book, and they take their messages and create these like, there was a word for it, pretty much like these practices that allow them to be like intimate with God or like a lot closer, like very like almost like becoming a part of God um, or reaching a union with God was the word that they uh, used. But yeah, so they have like levels to it and different practices. Um, but yeah, like right now it's just kind of talking about the um, the origins of the word Sufi, which is what they call those who practice Sufism is Sufis. So just kind of going back to like where that started. It um, One of the more popular theories is that um, the Sufis, there's like a word, hold on, um, Ashab al-Sufa, meaning the companions of the bench. This was a group of companions that the Prophet Muhammad, um, that lived in poverty and who spent their lives on the bench or raised platform outside of the Prophet's mosque in the city of Medina. This meant dedicating their entire lives to their religion. The word Sufi thus will come from the word Sufa indicating that the Sufis are the heirs to these particular companions of the Prophet. So, um, yeah, there's a lot going on for sure, but all I can say pretty much to sum this up, this is helping a lot. So, it's probably going to be a super late night. Um, obviously want to get this drawing of the right side of the brain as well, but if it comes down to it, it's definitely more important. So, apologize. I feel like I've been, like, baiting you guys with that every night, but... You know, I definitely would like to uh, get some good um, stuff going here. So I'll probably, like I said, I'm at 5 minutes, 38 seconds. I'll uh, heat up this Chipotle, um, eat some, maybe grab some coffee from down there, and uh, keep on rocking out in the free world. But, uh, yeah, definitely an interesting topic, especially out of those that we could have chosen. Uh, it's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. It might just be this for the night. Uh, maybe I'll stop at two pages and good draw. Who knows? But, um, yeah.
right now. But to go get some brain food and some caffeine in me. Now, an energy drink, though, we're, what, three, four days off of them? We'll take it. We'll take it. But, uh, yeah. So, keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Alright, guys. It's 11.22. Can't hold you. Just watched the Thursday night football game. The end of it. Vikings and the, uh, the Rams. If you like the Rams, I hate you. Nothing against you really personally. Just... That team is very corrupt. That was a really bad way to end a football game. If you saw that, you know what I'm talking about. Straight up face masked my boy in the end zone. And I'm not even a Vikings fan. I felt bad. Regardless. Haven't touched that paper. Um, and uh, kind of a little debacle as I'm recording this. Do I go down there and do this drawing of the right side of the brain? Or do I push a little more on this paper? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because also, Lisa has asked me, Oh, Carter, do you want to come into the studio since it's always open at school? And, uh, do your drawing and all this stuff. I'm kind of not sure if I want to do that because I won't get to bed at a reasonable time, even if I did fall asleep in her dorm. And then I'll have to wake up and not be able to take a shower. And that's not cool. And I'll be all around all women, dude. Like, what? Not cool. Not cool. But, um, yeah. Regardless, let's fill out this day four. Day four. Um, hey Siri, what time is it? It's 11.24 p.m. 11.30 at night. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Because I got like a good solid page of stuff. Um, so what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. We might do that for tonight because I, I got the rhythm of it. Should be good. Um, for tonight. Not as much as I wanted to work on it, but definitely get a pretty good little chunk. Um, we might actually go downstairs and do our drawing on the right side of the brain. Because I think what we have to do for it, um, still in the book if I remember correctly, is do a hand drawing. And I know it's not going to look great. And obviously take my time, um, as much as I can. But I don't know how great this will be. Um, but it would, however beneficial to have Elisa there with me helping me but it's also supposed to show my skill at the current moment so I don't know if that would really be you know great regardless let's fill out today's entry yeah let me darken my face because I think it looks cool when the background's dark welcome to the one percent better Also, I forgot to do my weight this morning, so um, we'll go fill that out. Also, I need to, uh, I ate that Chipotle bowl, but I still have 19 grams of protein I need. So I have to go drink a uh, mass gainer shake to get this last 25 for the night, and then we'll have reached our goal. So we'll go do this. Um, drawing on the right side of the brain with a freaking mass gainer shake. What a night. I hate to let Elisa down again, but sometimes kinda gotta take ownership for yourself and be like, all right, don't really got time for it, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I guess I will weigh myself um, shortly after I go over all this. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, like I said in yesterday's vlog, today's quote of the day was, the road to success and the road to failure are almost exactly the same. Very good. Productivity. How productive were we today? School, pretty well. Actually, about finished my Photoshop project. Luckily, it's not due for like another two weeks of classes, so I'm going to really be uh, focusing on lighting and shadows and all these fun things in Photoshop to make it look more realistic. 
pretty much. It was, we were combining different photos to make something that like is impossible. It was like an action, an animal, and a place. And mine that I got assigned was an elephant playing soccer in a bowling alley. My mom's fucking messing around with the fire detectors or smoke detectors. That's just the most normal thing she's probably done all night. She is crazy. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, an elephant playing soccer in a bowling alley is more normal than the things my mom does sometimes. I mean, truthfully, honest with that one. Um, but, yeah, very strange thing, like, saying it, but actually didn't turn out horrible. Uh, but, like I said, I want to get the lighting and everything better. I'll have my teacher kind of show me um, some ways to do like reflections and shadows of the soccer ball and under the tusk and all this stuff. But um, so yeah, that was a super productive class pretty much is what I'm getting at. And then we had, well, before that we had our uh, history of art, art history, the one uh, that I was taking that test in. She didn't give us bank our test today. So yeah have to wait till Tuesday for that one but uh overall really productive class I mean learned a good amount we started um pretty much like early Christian art in Rome um there's a word for it, I can even think of it right now but um yeah just early Christian art um and like also like architecture as well so that was productive um I was pretty tired this morning I can't lie but nonetheless, I uh, had a pretty good little, uh, pretty good little class. So to rate our productivity out of ten, even though we took that uh, slumber, I feel like that's happening a lot as of late, and it's definitely a, a reflection of my sleep schedule. Um, productivity out of ten, we'll go with the eight. Not horrible. We did our paper as well. I'm about to go get that other stuff done before we head to bed. Uh, mood. I haven't been very sad. I won't give it that. So, uh, it's a pretty good day. Um, I'll say an eight as well. I feel confident in just an eight. It's not a bad day by any means. Um, early gym. We didn't get early, but we got gym. So I'll cross out the word early. And then, uh, check mark. Um, our protein goal, we're about to. I'll wait actually to officially do it so that I don't trick my brain into thinking that we've done it. Uh, same with the drawing. Um, but paper, I'd say the uh, the first page is not bad. So Lisa just texts me, text me when you're on your way. Girl, I don't know if I'm gonna be on the way. But uh, yeah, paper, good little chunk, um, not bad. Today I'm thankful for uh, again, stopping energy drinks. Drinks. And two is just building self-discipline. I feel like I've been a lot more, uh, other than the nap earlier and the naps, I've been a lot more disciplined in, like, not only like my food choice for like my protein goals but like just planning out my day a little bit better um so yeah just being a little bit more self-disciplined so pat myself on the you know, damn i'm just kidding but uh yeah pat myself on the back for that one um not about a little not about a little you know progress that we're making so reflection um say Great. Don't you just love when your parents are arguing in the background of your video? I don't miss my mom being here. I cannot lie with you guys. Can't lie. Um, reflection. Yeah. Um, yeah. Reflection. Reflection, reflection, reflection. We're trying to reflect here. So, uh, let's just say, overall... Not a perfect.
perfect day, which it's very hard to have one of those, but, uh, stepping stone, that is beneficial to our consistency. Shit, I can't spell consistency. Sure, go with that. One thing that I did that sucked. Um, I'm just gonna say slept. Um, prime hours. Yeah, look at that. Um, but yeah, like, it didn't really suck. Being asleep felt great. Just resting my eyes and my brain and my body. But, for the sake of the paper and everything, not great. But, hey, at least I woke up. Feel better a little bit now. I mean, I'm definitely tired, so we're gonna... Get this mask in here and whatnot and drawing on the right side of the brain thing done. Um, head to bed. It's probably be past midnight, which is crazy. So uh, maybe we won't do an early gym because I was actually talking to Arian earlier before he left. I don't think he's going early. I think he's going to be going in the afternoon. So maybe we'll just do that. Hit some arms with him. Um, and that'll give us more time to actually get some sleep. Get some rest in us. Um, but yeah, so... That is the plan, guys. I'm going to go make this protein shake. Uh, I gotta, I ended up buying a, like, blender bottle off Amazon. It's on its way here. But, like, that's actually, like, got the built-in blender. It's actually, like, nice and won't be it's clumpy and shit. Because, man, it makes it unbearable doing that. Um, but, yeah. First, we're going to weigh ourselves. Then we'll do our protein um, shake. And, uh, do our drawing on the right side of the brain. Yeah, so, don't know how, I know it's not going to be a great drawing, because I have no idea how to even draw hands, um, but it should be interesting, so, I will keep you guys updated. Alright guys, just weighed myself. Still busting out of the freaking seams, dude. Ugh, just kind of scary, I mean, this is my weaker arm. Just looks weaker. Get out of here. We're looking at the big dude. We're looking at the big fella. Yeah, just kind of scary. Can't lie with you. Kind of scared of my own body. But, um, yeah, I weighed myself. I'm a little confused. Come here. Come here. I gotcha. All right, so, yesterday's weight. Hmm, let me see. We weighed. 142.1 pounds. That was at like 5 in the morning. Just weighed myself. Also, yeah, it's been like maybe an hour or two. FaceTime to Lisa. Dude. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? No, but I don't know. It was a good... Whoa. <laughs> Didn't mean to flash you guys. Sorry. But uh, it was a good conversation. A nice one. I needed one. Um, but yeah... <laughs> So that kind of took a while. Still need to go drink our protein and um, do our drawing on the right side of the brain. I'm committed to it. Committed to it. Have to do it. Have to do it. But yeah. Yesterday, 5 a.m., weighed 142.1. And today, at uh, past midnight, well, I guess tomorrow or whatever day it is right now. 141.3 what what so I don't know what that's about I think it might be my scale something's obviously wrong with that I probably should weigh 160 by now the way I've been eating no but um yeah I actually I don't know if it is my scale I mean I didn't get butt ass naked but I did just get in the underwear which it, is what I wore last time with myself, so I don't know what's kind of going on here. Losing a pound—that's not the goal. 
um, by any means, so, yeah, um, not cool, not cool, but, uh, yeah, so, <sighs> I don't know, maybe it is just the time and whatnot, but, um, yeah, it is really late, let's go get this stuff done, and, um, get to bed, I don't know why I'm still up, dude, need to be in freaking bed, I need to slumber, slumber, all right, who am I kidding while we're up here? Let's just do, like, write down the stuff for tomorrow real quick. Um, also, probably gonna do my face wash stuff. Let's not flash my nipples the entire time for you thirsty little bastards out there. Um, day five. That means the date will be 1025. 24. Beautiful. Okay. Quote of the day. Um, I can say that now since it actually is this day. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. African proverb. Kind of needed to hear the opposite right now, Africa. Um, but I have to kind of digest what you're telling me here. If you want to go fast, if you want to live life in the fast lane, live in that, yeah, um, go alone. Okay? So you're just going to be speeding through life fast. If you want to go far, not fast or slow, but if you want to go far, you got to go together. Hmm. Go alone, go together, and go far. It's very interesting. I like pondering on these quotes because, like, obviously you could just read it and be like, oh, yeah, this is an African proverb. What does it mean? You know, but I like to sit here and really be like, how does this connect to me, my life, what's going on right now? And uh, this one's kind of weird. Can't, can't lie with you. If you, maybe somebody can help in the comments, maybe explain that. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's like saying like like-minded people. If you keep like-minded people with like the same goal or journey in mind, you'll go a lot farther in your life than just living it fast. I think. Um, but yeah, not bad. Uh, today's agenda. Let's get these guys down. Um, I'm also going to write, wait up here. Um, gym. Got the gym sesh. Yeah, we'll even write gym sesh because I think it's cool. Um, protein goal. After that... paper it's pretty much just gonna be a repeat of yesterday to be honest yeah we'll do a paper i'll do paper slash homework because i think dude our one class wants us to have a clay project done by monday as well as read all these chapters it's like dude i want to have a life i want to have a freaking weekend i have other classes dude so i don't know i just too much no but i don't know that kind of sucks so i'll probably have to go in like this weekend or something and work on a clay project come on dude come on i'm not even in ceramics um but yeah so gym session do our paper and that homework protein goal as well Right, it. I just have to do it. Fucking drawing on the right side of the brain. Sure, drawing. Yeah. So that will be tomorrow, today, whatever it is. Let's go drink this protein drink and draw a fucking hand. I shouldn't have done this to myself, but hey, I did it to myself, so I have to. uh 
face the consequences, as they say. But, uh, yeah. Let's do it. It's done. It's horrible. I'm glad these are just the beginning to show me what, uh, what I can do. Um, obviously, it's been a whole lot of time. Maybe 15 minutes, if that, on it. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Looks just like it. Wow. Looks just like my hand. Wow. Whoa. Dude. That's actually incredible. No, but, uh, we'll get better. We'll get better. Alright, y'all. As you saw, drawing not great, but it's done for the day. So let's mark these final two. Whoa. Another nipple flash. Mark these two off. Boom. And boom. Feels much better. Alright, y'all. Headed to bed. Good day. Busy day. Let's get some sleep. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Have a great night. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you then.